This video will help you get started with building a LibGuide. I'm going to cover adding pages to a guide and just some of the very basics of getting started with LibGuides. If you are interested in creating a guide from scratch, you would want to make sure that you were actually logged into LibGuides and I could tell that I am because I have this orange bar right up here. And on from the home page, you can see that there's these shortcuts and here's a create guide. And I would want to give my guide a name and possibly a description and then I could click create guide. I've actually already kind of started a guide that's my test guide and that's what we're going to work off of today. So the first thing that I will do is click on this plus sign to add a new page to this guide. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to give the page a name. We'll just call it test page. I don't need a description and the decision I'll need to make is the position of the page. I could have this as a top level page and that would put the page right up here along with these blue other blue tabs. Or I could make it a sub page and that's what I'll be doing. I'll be making it a sub page of the library services year in review. So it's actually going to live underneath this tab. I'm going to keep this page in draft mode because while I'm working on it I don't really want anyone else to see it so I'm going to click that right there and save. So you can see that it's a hidden page and when I hover over library services there's my test page and it's it's hidden because I put it in draft mode. So I'm actually working on this page and the way I can tell is that the title of it is right here. So that's how I know which page I'm working on. Have this blank slate in front of me. First thing that I want to do is choose the layout. I have lots of options. I can do between one and four columns and lots of different sizes of boxes in those columns. There's even a custom column width option. The default goes to uh, three columns, larger box in the middle, and then two smaller ones on the side. And that's what I'm going to stick with. So to make my box, I'm going to just hover on that and click on it. And I'm going to choose my name. We'll say test box. And there's actually different types of boxes. The standard box, tabbed, gallery, and profile. Standard is the one that you're going to use most often, so that's what we're going to cover today. Tabbed is similar, but it's just like, like it says, it's a tabbed box. Gallery uh, gives you the option of putting several pictures in sort of a little rotating um, just photo gallery. And then profile is um, something you won't really use. It's kind of a profile of like the, the creator of the LibGuide. I don't need to worry about putting this box in draft mode because the whole page is in draft mode. So I'll say save. Now to work on adding content into this box, I'm going to click on the add reorder and it's going to give me lots of options. There's lots of stuff to cover, but we're going to just look at the rich text HTML in this video today. So I'm going to click on that. You can see it's kind of just a basic word processing type format. I can just start typing. And if I save and close, there's my text right into the box. So I'm going to edit it and go back into there. Another um, thing that you'll probably find useful is um, these little clipboards where you can copy and paste from other sources. This is paste as plain text and this is pasting from Word. So I have a website that I found some text from that I want to use. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to use this clipboard to paste it in. What this is doing is it's um, helping just to remove some of the uh, formatting and code that's in there so it allows me to, to do my own formatting within the LibGuide. Of course, if you were really doing this, you would want to cite your sources, but this is just an example of how to copy and paste. And like I showed you, you can also use this from Word as well. 
Uh, something else you would probably use is the link. So if I wanted to uh, link up a word in this in this um, box, I could click right here, and I'm going to go just pick up link in EISD. Something important is that when you um, when you're doing a link, you want it to actually open up into a new window. So I'm going to hit Target and then New Window and OK. All right, so I should have this word linked up to any ISD. So let's see if that worked out. So there it is. And you can see it opened up into a new window, which is really helpful because that way your user can always go back to the original page. OK, let me go right back in here. Some other things that you can use in this is you can uh, create a table which could be helpful. And then there's this image icon, which lets you add pictures into your box. So let's look at that for a moment. I'm going to want to um, look at the images that I've already downloaded. These are the ones that I've already um, have in my LibGuides. If I needed to get something off of my computer, I would just upload a new image. I'm going to get something from my Women's History Month folder. I think it'll be this one. And here's a picture of Amelia, but you can see how it's kind of skewed. She's kind of a little too long. So I want to make sure that um, I can kind of change that by just playing with some numbers right here. And if I have this as locked, it's going to change the width and the height together so that it's proportional. That's a little small. Let me try 200. See how that looks. That's a little better. Another thing I like to do is to add a little border around the photo. So I'm going to put, I'm going to just put a number five here and see how that looks. Might be a little thick. Maybe I'll do three. Okay. So I'll say okay. And so here's my photo. I can put it in the center. And we'll say save and close. So here's my, my photo of Amelia, and I have some text under there about her. And I could actually even link up this picture if I wanted to. So let me go back in and show you how to do that. So I'm going to click on this, and I'll hit link. And I could just put, I could put this whole website. Okay, so now you can kind of see that the border has turned blue, and that's because it's it's an actual link. And I probably would want to write something under here, like click click on the image for more information. But I could click on that, and it's going to take me to a new box with straight to that link. So we have this box with a, a photo and some content. This little pencil here will let me uh, change my title of my box so I'm going to do that and another thing I can do with my page is, is that um, if I've decided you know what I, I actually kind of think I want that page to be right up at the top I can pull it out from underneath the other library services tab and I could put it right there I can move it right here just move it up, move all your pages around so it's actually ended up right here and now when I'm done with uh, working on my test page I can get it to where it actually will show on the guide by clicking right here so it's going to refresh and now here's my page it's not hidden from view any longer if I'd like to um, go ahead and delete this page. There's a delete right here. 
but it's just something you need to be very careful and make sure that you really want to delete because when you delete something from LibGuides, you cannot get it back. So it's going to give me a little warning. Are you sure you want to delete this page? And it's giving me the page name. And then it's also telling me if you delete this page, you're also deleting this box. So just read over that before you actually click here and say, yes, I'm sure. And then I could hit delete. That gives you just a little idea of how you can get started with the LibGuide. One more thing I wanted to show you is um, this Help tab right up here. There's lots of information from SpringShare about how to how to get your get started on creating a LibGuide. So I would uh, recommend that you check out some of these links right here. Thank you, and good luck with your LibGuide.